Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I thought I'd do an update on all my cherry guavas, um, or lemon and strawberry cherry guavas, go by different names, Sidium capianum. Uh, this one I'm featuring here is actually my largest yellow cherry guava. Uh, it's in a pot, as you can see. Um, I got it at the same time as I got my other one, which I'll show in a minute. Um, but this one, although it's much bigger than the other one, has yet to produce any flower buds. Uh, the other one has flowered a couple of times, or tried to flower at least. Uh, but yeah, this one has grown quite well this year. You can see all this is new growth here, and then all these new shoots here are new. Um, I love the coloration when they first come out like this. Not sure what's happened to that tip there. It's like it's, uh, those leaves are dead there actually. But anyway, it's got plenty of new growth on it. Um, yeah, this one's getting a nice um, woody stem now. Um, no signs of flower buds of course, but uh, yeah, looking nice and healthy. Probably due another repot soon, probably next spring. While we're here, look at this pomegranate, it's still completely full of leaves and green mostly and compare that to this one over here which has already pretty much gone dormant they're only only about a meter and a half away from each other so don't know what the difference is they are different varieties but uh, maybe that's it this one next to it here um, is actually a different species it's a Cidium acutangulum uh, which is doing quite well um, I got this one a little bit later than the cherry guavas, so it's, uh, but it's done quite well and it's starting to get a woody stem now. Um, so yeah, that one's doing okay. Might as well also show these, which I've never featured before. These are my uh, Eugenia pyriformis seedlings. Um, both quite small, haven't really grown much, if at all. Yeah, I can't remember how long I've had them now, but not not very long and they've not really done anything yet. Uh, this one was a Cidium acutangulum, which looks dead. Pretty sure that is, yeah, definitely seems to be dead. Yep, definitely. Don't know what happened to that one. Must have got root rot, I guess. This one is a strawberry guava, or red cherry guava. Um, quite a small one. I think this is one of my newer ones I got last year. Um, probably from Jurassic Plants. It looks, uh, it looks quite good. Um, definitely grown a bit this year. I don't know, this one was actually from Core Wild Fruits. Not Jurassic Plants. Um, the yellow cherry guavas I got from Core Wild Fruits as well. Um, this one is a red strawberry guava. I think this is my oldest one actually. Yeah, this is the one I've had the longest. This one I got from Jurassic Plants. You can see the label there from Jurassic Plants and it's, it's grown into a nice little bush. It doesn't really want to grow up, it seems to want to grow out for some reason. I guess I could stake it, but um, yeah, it's got a nice little stem forming on it now. Um, it's bushed out quite nicely and got plenty of uh, new shoots on it. Um, these, I find these all seem to grow um, the most at the end of summer into early autumn. They don't really do much in spring and early summer and then they just kind of shoot out in late summer. Now over here is one of my other lemon cherry guavas. This is the one that has flowered, in fact it has got flower buds on it at the moment. So I say it flowered but it never actually opened the flowers. Um, it got them back in spring um, when I put it outside the flower buds ended up burning up and dropping off but it has got some more on it now 
this one looks like it might be uh, almost ready to open of course it's probably too late in the year to get uh, fruit off these now there's another one over here I lost the label for this one but I'm pretty sure that's another strawberry guava red cherry guava um, I think that was one that I lost the label um, during a storm um, when we had the green, the old greenhouse and it blew over and this one is my in-ground cherry guava, lemon cherry guava um, which also has plenty of flower buds on it you can see there's uh, quite a few on it here most branches are getting them uh, again it's too late in the year for flowers um, and this is obviously is a, a younger plant than the ones I've got on the patio um, which uh, originated as a cutting from one of those plants I'm guessing it came from the one that's got flowers on it because the other one has never flowered so I'm guessing that's where this one originally came from I never labelled the plant when I took the cuttings because I didn't even expect them to take um, so yeah I just um, just did it as a bit of an experiment and I'm glad I did I'll definitely take more cuttings from these in the future um, especially these uh, which I know are capable of flowering already um, I've got two more rooted cuttings in the greenhouse uh, I might just quickly feature them if I can reach them okay I hope you can see this um, down here at the bottom I've got two yellow cherry guava cuttings uh, in pots and the one right there at the back it's quite hard to see um, yeah they're both doing quite well obviously haven't grown as much as the one I put in ground um, so yeah I think if I'd got that in the ground it would have done much better it's getting more growth tips on it um, much greener looking actually than the one I've got in ground but yeah uh, definitely hasn't grown as much in here so yeah I thought people um, might just want to see how the all the cherry guavas are getting on I know I've featured the one I've got in ground a few times this year but I've not really shown any of these in containers um, this one here I'd say it's at least it's well over a metre in height now probably about yeah, just over a metre I'd say um, hopefully I can get these to overwinter uh, quite well indoors again um, sometimes they do okay, sometimes they struggle a bit uh, but yeah, definitely looking nice and healthy at the moment minus a couple of older leaves if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell which will uh, alert you when future videos are released and I'll be sure to keep you all up to date on how these cherry guavas get on over the winter uh, and into next year hopefully might be able to get some more flowers on some of these next year so yeah thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time